To put yourself in somebody else's shoes means to relate to that person, to be empathetic, to understand their feelings. So like I said, to be in someone else's shoes is to relate to someone else's feelings, right? So when we want to imagine ourselves in someone else's shoes, we want to understand their feelings, right? So maybe if I see like a homeless person on the side of the street and my friend doesn't want to give them any money or any food, and I would say, hey, like imagine being in their shoes, right? They're really hungry. Maybe they don't have a job. They can't do anything. Then they might be like, oh, you know what? Okay, let's go buy them some food. Then we go and buy them some food. Because we understand their feelings, we're in their shoes. We're putting ourselves in their shoes. Another example that I can think of is if I'm going through a really hard time and I'm working so much, working so much, and my friends are like, hey, like, relax. Like, and they're kind of getting mad at me for doing all this stuff. I say, hey, put yourself in my shoes. Understand what it's like to be in my position. Then maybe they can be a little bit more empathetic towards my situation. So two other phrases that we could use that are very similar is like, oh, imagine if you were in my position. Right? If you were in my position right here, or if you were in my situation. Imagine if you were in their situation. Same thing. Imagine if you were in their shoes, in their situation, in their position. All right. Great. Okay. Any final words? All right, guys. So I know what it's like to be in your position. I know what it's like to be in your shoes. It's really hard to learn English because Korean is not my first language. So I'm studying Korean right now, and it's really hard. So I know what it's like to be in your shoes. Just keep working, keep working at it, and we can all get better at languages together. English. 자, in your shoes라는 표현 같은 경우는 바로 뭐냐면요, 너의 입장이라는 말입니다. In my shoes라고 하면 나의 입장이라는 걸 말하는 거겠죠. 그래서 어떤 친구한테 야, 네가 내 입장이 되어봐 하면요, put yourself in my shoes라고 할수 있겠죠. 뭐 예를 들면요, 제가 상당히 최근에 바빴습니다. 그래서 사실 친구들이나 심지어 가족들한테도 연락을 제가 많이 못하는 경우가 있었어요. 자, 근데 주변의 친구들이나 가족들이 저한테 이제 그거에 대해서 화를 내면요. 저는 마음이 아프죠. 왜? 충분한 이유가 있었는데. 그러면요. 이렇게 말할 수 있을 것 같아요. Hey, why don't you put yourself in my shoes? How would you feel? 이런 식으로요. Oh, put yourself in my shoes. Put yourself in my shoes. Put yourself in my shoes. 이런 식으로 in my shoes라는 것은 입장을 말하는 거고요. 그리고 비슷한 표현은요. Put yourself in my situation. Put yourself in my position이라는 표현을 사용해도 괜찮습니다. 그쵸? I was worried about that the women wouldn't be able to put themselves in the shoes of a six, seven, and eight-year-old boy. I was worried about that the women wouldn't be able to put themselves in the shoes of a six, seven, and eight-year-old boy. I was worried about that the women wouldn't be able to put themselves in the shoes of a six, seven, and eight-year-old boy. I was worried about that the women wouldn't be able to put themselves in the shoes of a six, seven, and eight-year-old boy. I was worried about that the women wouldn't be able to put themselves in the shoes of a six, seven, and eight-year-old boy. I would want revenge if I were in your shoes too. I would want revenge if I were in your shoes too. I would want revenge if I were in your shoes too. I would want revenge if I were in your shoes too. I would want revenge if I were in your shoes too. 자 이렇게 해서 우리가 오늘 그 in my shoes라는 표현, in your shoes라는 표현 살펴봤고요. 자 여러분들. 영어 공부하는 게 쉽지 않다라는 것은 제가 정말 잘 알고 있어요. 그렇죠? 왜냐하면 I was in your position. I was in your shoes. 제가 여러분들의 입장이었기 때문에 그렇죠. 그렇죠? 자, 그러니까 여러분들이 그 힘든 거잘 견디고 꾸준히 하다 보면요. 분명히 나아지거든요. 그래서 여러분들 저도 여러분들하고 relate 할수 있으니까 항상 힘든 거 있으면요. 저한테 자, 편안하게 답글로 알려주시면 제가 답할 수 있는 거 답변 드리고 그 다음에 이제 엘리엇이나 다른 친구들 원어민 친구들이 답변 드릴 수 있는 것은 여러분들한테 답변을 드림으로써 여러분들이 앞으로 더 발전할 수 있게 도움 많이 드리겠습니다. 여하튼 수고하셨고요. 우리 그러면 다음에 또 만나기로 해요. 자, see you guys next time. Bye bye.